So Microsoft just announced a bunch of conceptual, futuristic products that won't be ready until next year. But they also are doing some interesting things with its more traditional lineup, like the Surface Laptop. We got brand new Surface Laptop 3 that comes now in two different versions, a 13-inch and a larger 15-inch. And these are also really interesting, so let's take a closer look. So the Surface Laptop 3 looks a lot like the previous versions. It still has the same bezel size. It's about the same thickness and weight. I'm talking about the 13 inch version here. But it does come in some new stylings and materials. This is the new sandstone color. It's a really interesting colorway, but more interesting than that is that it's completely made out of machined aluminum. No longer the Alcantara material. You can still get that on some other options, but it has this new sandstone aluminum and also a silver aluminum on both the 13 and the 15 inch versions. There are also a couple other minor improvements that I really like. The trackpad here, it's a little bit wider, it's a little bit bigger, always good to see that. And then of course, we're getting USB-C instead of that old mini display port. Really nice to see that. Better late than never, the USB-C coming to both the Surface Laptop and the Surface Pro line. The USB-C port is not, however, a Thunderbolt 3 port. We double checked about that. You do, however, still get your USB-A port and your uh, Surface Connect dock for power. So all those new things also apply to the 15 inch version, but what's different about these two products outside of just the size is the processor inside, and that's a big difference. Here you're still getting Intel, but you are getting the 10th generation Ice Lake processors. These are Intel's latest and greatest. You're getting, most importantly, those Iris Plus graphics that Intel has brought, the integrated graphics, and these are a lot better than previous versions. So you will be able to do some light gaming and productivity should be a little bit better. And you know, Microsoft is pretty confident that they've got the highest version that you can get. Some of the details are so fuzzy on that, but you can expect some better graphics with the Surface Laptop 3 13 inch version. Now to move on to the 15 inch version, it's obviously bigger and it's very light and very thin, but what's significant about this is that it's running an AMD processor. Not just any AMD processor, it's running a Microsoft Edition Ryzen processor. Really interesting and it comes in a number of different versions, a Ryzen 5 and a Ryzen 7. Most importantly, you're also getting Vega graphics, integrated graphics to go with it. We don't know all the details yet about how much performance you can expect to get to that. Is this a real gaming laptop? I don't know about that. But it is some extra graphical power in a really thin and really light chassis. That's always a good thing to see. When you look at it, it looks a lot like a 15-inch MacBook Pro, but on the MacBook Pro, of course, you can go up to a Core i9 with eight cores and get some you know, uh, discrete graphics as well. So we'll have to see how these two laptops compare for someone who's actually looking for that additional power, maybe a content creator or a gamer. How about price? Well, the Surface Laptop 3 still starts at $999, whereas the 15-inch Surface Laptop 3 starts at $1199. So you're paying a little bit more for that extra screen real estate and that different processor inside. Both units will be available on October 22nd, but you can get pre-orders right now.